all right so in this video what i want to do is to take a look at uh let's see i want to create somewhat of a dashboard so whenever the user basically logs in they have uh somewhere to go and uh, uh as you can see here uh we have this login form or whatever i think i'm gonna change this to email and yeah so it's email and password yeah and then what we can do is basically if we can make this dynamic in a sense that when the user clicks on this it changes the user attribute or whatever to true and then we can get something like a dashboard link uh here a button that says that uh, that goes to the dashboard and it will just move to or we can direct or we can just directly just push them to the dashboard but we'll see uh as we go because i haven't really planned this series out I basically i'm basically just freestyling as i go along so yeah all right so what i want to do is do some refactoring i want to before i start that one what one thing i want to do is to delete this uh about this page because we're really not going to so i'm gonna delete that i don't want to just rename it or whatever i'm just gonna delete it and create if i need something new i'll just create it and in the uh in here i i'm just gonna comment this out and the reason why i'm commenting this out is because i like this lazy loading thing so and i don't want to have to uh have to remember all of this so that's why i'm doing that so yeah uh and we can save this and we'll be good so from here what i want to do is to create a file called dashboard uh, dot view. and uh, in this file we're not gonna put anything we're not gonna, we're got, not gonna basically write any code but before let me just put uh add the uh, this that we're going to delete in a minute so i don't even know why i'm putting it here but uh in our app file i'm gonna change something out of here so you can see the app is being loaded the header is being loaded on every page because the app is like the main entry point of all of a view application so i don't want this to be on every page i want this to be only on the home page the home page and uh which the app is basically yeah it can, it's kind of messed up in a sense but let's see if we can work uh work this thing out so the app folder i think i may have to put a router view in here but let's see afterwards but let's leave this for now and in our home page this is where i want to add uh basically this is where i want to add the that uh header file and that and that and uh, the other file so what i can do is basically just copy all of this cut it and then just write a template so yeah save this uh in here I can just paste all of this. So that just makes everything much uh, simpler. The header will be on the home page, on the, the form will be on the home page basically. And that's what we're saying. In here, I think I may have to do a router view, but I want to see if it's going to give us an error before I do that because I know that this is the main entry point of the view application. Let's, let's just see what happens. All right, so we're not seeing anything. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a router. I'm gonna do a router view. And if this doesn't work, then I'll, 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 re, I'll restart the server. And uh, if that doesn't, well, if this doesn't work, I'll restart the server and see if that All right, so there we go. Basically, just put in the router view, and that uh, does that part of it. So that's pretty much it. That's how we handle 
uh, basically routing. That's that's one. I wouldn't say it's a downfall because this is pretty cool with with uh, UJS, but with Nux we don't really have to worry about uh, that. Even though we have a Nux Nux child or something like that. Nux, I don't remember, but something is pretty cool. Uh, so that's that. In the dashboard, in the dashboard uh, panel here. Uh, now over here I have the file pre layouts open. So in the pre-layouts, we have some layouts that are that are made with the material design. Uh, this framework here, it's pretty cool. Basically, uh, Google. This is what Google uses. Material design is a uh, or it's what uh, I think Google is what made it. So yeah. So we have some like the Google contacts and some of these layouts. Even YouTube, if you want that like, YouTube, basically template layout in a sense. We have that so i picked out these two and i'm going to pick i think i'm going to pick the, the sandbox one because it has this dark theme so we can switch between whichever even though i could add it to this baseline one if i wanted to but just to make everything simpler uh i'm going to just use I'm just going to copy this one because i just want uh this dark theme. i don't like the light so if we're if I am using this, I would have the dark theme basically all, all the time. So to get the code, I'm just gonna right click and open the new tab. All right, good. So before before I do this, before I do this, what I want to do is I want to test this thing out. The dashboard, I want to test it out before I do that. So I am going to just put an H1 here to say dashboard and I'm gonna register the route. Register the route. Uh, thing. Save that and in the router uh, uh, file here. Uh, again, as you see, this came in pretty handy because all I have to do now is just to uncomment this and just rename this. And if you don't know what lazy loading is, then you can go. I, I may. I think I did a a basic explanation so you can check out the previous uh series that i had that i did with the view project and you'll have an understanding of it uh well it's basically just uh loading the the information if i remember correctly whenever you visit that particular route all right so let's test it out and again it's basically whenever you visit that route so yeah, so just whenever it just uh keeps the file the information that it doesn't like take long everything doesn't load at once it make everything much simpler in a sense or less or faster. Let's go over to dashboard and see how we get. Awesome. So you can see that it is it is working properly. So now we can go ahead and copy this code. And I may have to do some refactoring to this. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll have to do refactoring. So I'm gonna copy this, go back here, and in the dashboard file, I'm just gonna select all paste. Uh, I'm not really that big a fan of this, and this is not the syntax that is used anymore. So I'm just gonna get rid of this from now because the yes, link is going to scream at me as well so i want to do that this should not be like this uh, yeah so this should be a an object so the data will return an object these are the object, objects that it will return and uh no well there's one thing that i could change and it's this toolbar we can change this to uh i don't know i could put just put this as dashboard yeah let's save that and see all right so let's check this out awesome so now our our team works which is pretty cool and we basically also have a dashboard all right so i guess that's that for this uh video uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one